Hey YT family, this is Monica, aka the Return Queen, and I'm coming to you guys tonight with a quick little video. <laughs> I know I was gonna not say the quick little video part, but I couldn't resist. I've been saying it forever, so I'll probably never change. But tonight's video is gonna be a haul video. Yes. A Mac haul, you guys. I finally went to the Mac counter and used my gift cards that I got for my birthday back in October. Yes, this is what February, and I'm just now going to Mac to use my gift cards from um, October. You know, like where they do that at? That they hold on to Mac gift cards for that long. That just goes to show you guys that I am not a huge Mac fanatic. Speaking of Mac Fanatic, you guys, check out the Mac Fanatics page. I have been watching that girl like crazy. She is one of the people that I log into YouTube um, hoping that she's posted a new video. I love her channel, you guys. Just go over and check her out and show her some love. Um, leave her a note. Let her know, hey, the Return Queen sent me over. Go over and check out the Mac Fanatics now page. Now she has me getting ready to go to Mac again. And I promised Soul Candy 24 that I was not going to get addicted to Mac. But watching her channel and another one, her, her YT BFF, um, Texas Cutie 75, that's TX Cutie um, with an IE 75. Check her out too. They have me running out now to get Saddle. Eyeshadow Saddle by Mac, you guys. They use it faithful. It is their staple. <laughs> I'm talking about every day they using a, a, a saddle in some some type of an eye look that they have done. So let me stop talking and get straight to the things that I picked up. Here is my little receipt, you guys. I know it look a little bit generic, but it does say <laughs> Mac and it has all my things listed. Um, but anywho. One of the first things that I picked up, and I know I got to go again, y'all, because look, let me tell y'all, I know, rambling again, but I won, and no, I didn't win like I entered somebody's contest or something like that, but I won it from my mom, the Viva Glam Gaga 2, because I, I bet her, um, I bet her something last weekend, and, um, she was like, tell me what you want. Name your prize. And so I named my prize and I picked that, of course, because, hey, why not let mama pay for it and me not pay for it myself? But I said all that to say that one of the first things I picked up was the um, Viva Glam Gaga Lady Gaga lip gloss, the very first one in pink. I told you guys a couple of videos back, I don't know what's going on with me in this pink, but I actually really like this one and I just kind of dab it on I don't want the full you know effect of it all but like I said that was one of the first things that I picked up I have a little wish list going you guys really I mean god don't go in there if you've never been to a Mac counter or a Mac store or whatever mine is a Mac store don't go because they really they try you on all this stuff and they're getting you all excited and stuff like that and like I say my little list it only has about five things on it but still you know it's things that I was living fine without before I even went in there and now I want to go back in there okay one of the second things I um, picked up was rice paper and you guys have heard me speak about rice paper on numerous occasions I've actually hit up a couple of the ladies on the YT trying to find a does anybody know of a dupe for rice paper or something like that? Forever I have been looking for this. For about as long as I I have been looking for amber, you know, looking to pick up ambering rose. Um, I have been looking for a dupe for rice paper or I wanted rice paper. I just love it as, you know, for the purpose that it's used for, you know, as a highlight color. I just think that it, you know, it just looks so good on your skin and stuff like that you know from getting my makeup professionally done I just knew that this was something I wanted to own so I picked it up okay remember I just mentioned to you guys um the Mac fanatic yeah so I'm watching her channel the other day and she is doing a video about the wet and wild eight pan eyeshadows okay she sits on the video and says 
that this color at the top of comfort zone right here is a dupe for rice paper where you been when I was looking for this before I spent fourteen fifty <laughs> and, and and this is in here I'm like I'm gonna hurt you but you guys this is how they look swatch side by side this is wet and wild this finger and that's the rice paper okay now as you can see in the consistency or maybe you can't but this is a little bit more creamy than the rice paper but like she said really a dupe you know so I sent her back and I'm like where have you been when I was looking for this I'ma just you know rub it in for you guys so you can see you can see a little bit more shimmer in the wet and wild one but at the same time I would have been just as satisfied but then again probably not because y'all know how we do we want the, we want it when we want it or how we want it but anyway so when this runs out at least I'll have this as backup so for you guys who may be looking for it you have it in this if you have the wet and wild um, 8 pan comfort zone palette so and then I picked up a paint pot and I was just talking about paint pots with so handy 24 um, I picked mine up in groundwork and I actually did this shopping you guys on the 11th so today is the 26th so I've had this stuff what 15 days and so you can see I've been enjoying groundwork and I actually have it on now um, as a base and then I went over it with my other eyeshadows but the reason why it it already has that little dent in it is because for work in the morning times when I'm in a hurry I'll just put this all over my lid and smoke out the smoke out the outer V and call it a day I love this I can't wait to pick up some more paint pots that is definitely I have one called Rubenesque I think it is that's on my list my wish list I will be going back to get that one okay this was one of the I picked up um, Emancipation out of the Wonder Woman collection that was the only thing I really wanted I wanted the um, MSF in Golden Lariat I was like I had it in my hand put it down had it in my hand put it down and then I wanted one blush but I kind of like weighed the pros and cons and this ended up winning out of all the things you know and you guys have seen this 121 times here on YouTube this is the container and again I do the same thing with that one it's very pigmented you guys look I gotta clean it up yeah I'm doing it with my finger but yes very very pigmented I love it so this one out of everything I do and then intend on going back and getting golden lariat I should have it should have had it by now but you know that was one of those procrastinating and weighing out the pros and cons type deals but I do really really want that MSF so I will be going back and getting that one I picked up this um, dazzle glass right here in um, internationalist I think is the name of it internationalist but again it's pink and it has the I, look I'm piling everything on it has the little iridescent it kind of got blue flakes in it but she sold me on this one right here you guys on top of up the amp lipstick now y'all know I'm going to get up the amp that is on my wish list I am going out and get up the amp you guys I have got to got to got to have that um that lipstick and I, crazy I know I don't do lipsticks that's the craziest part but she sold me on up the amp lipstick with this on top and I will be going out and get up the amp um lastly I picked up um the blush in blunt now this was another one of those hearing people talk about YouTube doing things on YouTube and a lot of people use this blunt color for contouring and I said okay well I want to get blunt you know for contouring 
I really honestly can't see where blunt benefits me as a contour. I'll show you guys what I have been using and I show you this before uh, because you know you should use something that's like um, uh, uh, one and a half or to two shades darker than your skin tone. So I've been using this CoverGirl um, eyeshadow in uh, brown smolder. Um, as a hollow, I mean as a contour and it's been working working perfect but like I said you know listening to everybody else say they use blonde as a contour it just doesn't work for me look at the difference in the color and then let me show you guys one more thing about this blunt which is making me say that I really I'm probably going to return blunt and get something that I want more or could put more to use because okay this is my MAC um NW45 even though this is a little more red than blunt it's basically my skin tone I, I sat up the other night after comparing blunt to my um, L'Oreal True Match and this is L'Oreal True Match in um, C8 Cocoa which is what I use every day and look can you tell a difference Actually, I have blunt all over my entire face today as a powder. It's unnecessary for me, so this 1950 could be returned and I could get something that I could really use, which is what I could have done with this NW45 that I never used. I might have used it twice and I probably had this a year. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and return blunt because it really, you know, it doesn't benefit me to have it and continue to use my little eyeshadow and brown smolder for contouring and um yeah so that is it for my MAC birthday haul birthday what five months past <laughs> what October is the 10th month two months yeah, yeah, yeah. so about four and a half months so that's my birthday haul from MAC you guys and like I say I have a wish list building go over and check out the ladies I told you about Texas Cutie 75 and the MAC fanatic um, and that is all I have for you guys thanks for watching and like I always say if they can't handle you at your worst they don't deserve you at your best smooches